To begin, we build our model in sub-assemblies with the body, power fist and head separate. We also do not want to glue our model to the base as it will give us better access whilst painting. We're going to prime this model with Zandri dust. Once your model has been primed, we are going to start by blocking in all the base coats. The first color we're going to paint is Zandri dust. This is for the coat as well as the hat and we are going to apply two thin coats. The brush I use throughout this tutorial is the Small Artificer Layer Brush from Citadel. Next, we use Castellan Green, again applying two thin coats to the armor panels of the model. We're going to paint the casing of the pistol as well as the power fist and backpack a different green. With the Castellan Green dry, we're going to paint all the fabric areas with Screamer Pink, such as the cuffs and the fabric underneath the belt. Again, applying two thin coats. Moving on to the leathers next, we're going to mix together Mournfang Brown and Rhinox Hide in a one-to-one -one mix. Once again, applying two thin coats. With the leathers base coated, we now move on to the plasma pistol, the backpack, and the power fist. Mixing wire flesh and Abaddon black in a two to one mix, apply two thin coats to these areas. For the gloves and the boots, we are going to use Abaddon Black. Even though this is a dark color, we are still going to need to apply two thin coats. With all the base coats blocked in, we are now going to start working on the details. The first area is going to be the cloak as well as the hat. For this, we are going to thin down Steel Legion Drab with some Lamian Medium. One part Steel Legion Drab to six parts Lamian medium. You want to shade the whole area and be relatively fast with this step to prevent some pooling. Mixing together Ujabti Bone and Zandri Dust in a one-to-one -one mix, we're going to work our way around all of the cloak areas and apply a single edge highlight. The next area we're going to focus on is the pink fabric areas. We're going to wash these areas or shade with Nuln Oil. Whilst we're doing this step, we are also going to shade the leather areas with Nuln Oil as well. With the null oil dry, the next step is to glaze the Screamer Pink back up with a one-to-one -one mix of Screamer Pink and water.
The first highlight we are adding to the pink areas is a mix of two parts pink horror to one part screamer pink, painting all the raised and high areas of the fabric. The second edge highlight is going to be straight pink horror. Repeating the previous step and trying to leave some of that color visible. With the pink areas finished, next we are going to move on to the leathers. The first highlight is going to be Morn Fang Brown. Work your way around the model and pick out all the edges of the leather. The second highlight used for the leather is going to be Death Claw Brown. This is going to be a broken edge highlight which is essentially a series of random dots and lines instead of just a solid edge highlight. Moving on to the pistol, power fist and backpack, shade all of these areas with null oil. With a mix of war flesh and war boss green, one to one, Apply your first edge highlight to the pistol, power fist and backpack. The second edge highlight for all of these areas is going to be Skarsnik Green. The next area we're going to focus on is the armor. Instead of shading the whole armor, we're going to do a focused recess shade using Abaddon Black and Castellan Green in a one-to-one -one mix. The first edge highlight we're going to apply to our armor is a mix of Elysian Green and Castellan Green, one to one. Work your way around the model and pick out all the edges of the armor as well as the high points. The next color we're going to use for our edge highlight is Elysian Green. Again, pick out the same areas, trying to leave some of the previous color visible.
moving on to the black leather, the first of three edge highlights we are going to apply is a mixture of Eschen Grey and Abaddon Black one to one. Try and paint all the raised areas and edges of the leather of the boots, as well as the peak of the cap and the gloves. The second edge highlight we are going to use for the black leather is Eschen Grey. Painting the same areas as previously, trying to leave some of the Eschen Grey Abaddon first highlight visible. The final edge highlight for the black armour is Dawnstone. Like the previous steps, pick out the same areas, trying to leave some of the second edge highlight visible. Stay tuned for more Battleforged Gaming Ultimate tutorials in the future. Hopefully you have found this tutorial helpful and I'll catch you next time.